Dorian is now on its way into the North Atlantic, but last night it was still sweeping through Newfoundland. Fierce winds ripped trees right out of the ground in Corner Brook. At least a thousand people there are still without power. <laughs> Halifax saw some of the most dramatic effects of the storm. Scenes like this one, where an uprooted tree just tore right through the sidewalk. And then on Saturday, there was, there was a huge construction crane that came crashing down. No word on when that mess will be cleared up. Canadian Forces members arrived in the city yesterday. However, they are part of the federal assistance for what Nova Scotia's premier is calling an extensive recovery effort. So we're talking about soldiers and we're talking about trees uprooted. And there's one couple in Halifax who's talking about their wedding day on Saturday. They will forever <laughs> remember Dorian. Jillian and John McMaster, you guys got married on Saturday. Tell me what was going through your head when you woke up. <laughs> we didn't have time to do a lot of thinking on Saturday. Our, uh, our entire day, the entire eight hours we had planned to do pictures, ceremony, meals, dancing. It was like a fast forward button had been hit. We got up early. We got ready. Our ceremony got moved ahead by five and a half hours. And we showed up, we got some pictures, we did the ceremony, we did speeches, we cut a cake, <laughs> and we had some dances. It's kind of like it was, was, it was this, and then it was this, and then it was that. Were, exactly. there, no, were there no tears in there, Jillian? Like, you know, all your plans oh. that you've been making for 18 months. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there were tears on Friday. Um, because, you know, everything that we had planned has just... What? Uprooted. Yeah, it felt oh. like it's just uprooted. Did you say and... uprooted, John? <laughs> you, you didn't, John. We, we can make those jokes right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> we couldn't make them Friday. No, absolutely. No. John, uh, you know, you had to be, uh, you know, have some calming influence as well, I suppose, in the midst of all of this happening. How did you tackle it? Uh, <laughs> just about as good as Jill did, like, there wasn't much we could do, to be honest with you. <laughs> we just kind of took it head on and just kind of rolled with the punches, really. Just and the, pe the, the, the people you had invited, how many of them actually made it? I don't know exactly how many. There were about 115 people expected. And I would say there I would say about 100. Like the, yeah, the majority, yeah, least, the majority yeah. of them showed up. And, uh, you know, we were talking earlier today saying that it would have meant a lot, obviously, if they all showed up in a beautiful day. But the fact that that many people showed up literally in a hurricane for us, and we can't even begin to describe how good that feels. Like, we, we feel really loved and really blessed to have had all those people there. Absolutely. They must love you. Did you feed them? Did you water them? Did you, <laughs> did you, da did you dance them. the first dance? <laughs> We um, we skipped the official meal and we provided cheese crackers and pepperoni and chips. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And cupcakes. They Lots cupcakes. of cupcakes. <laughs> um, we did squeeze in. We squeezed in uh, our first dance, uh, my first dance with my mom, his first dance with his mom. And then there were probably about 10 songs that got played before we were ushered out of the venue. At, at that point, when, when all of you were leaving, what was in your heart knowing that um, you adapted to this day? Does that give you a sense of what your marriage will be like, that you guys can get through anything? Well, they keep telling us that a little bit of rain on your wedding's good luck. So a hurricane has to be really good luck. <laughs> we must be due for a lottery win or something. <laughs> What's in your, no, you know what? what is in your heart, Jillian, as you look back on that day? It was as much and all as it absolutely wasn't what I planned. <laughs> it was still the best day of my life. I got to marry the man of my dreams. And all of our family and friends were there to see it. And regardless of the fact that it was, you know, squished into two and a half hours, it all happened. And there's, I don't even know if I'd change it at this point.
You know what? I'm looking at the pictures, and our viewers across the country are seeing you. You look fantastic, <laughs> Jillian. And John, kudos to you. Just some beautiful pictures that I know will always be able to tell a story. I'm afraid to ask where you're going on your honeymoon. Because I'm, not, go I'm not going wherever you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a safe idea, because yeah, we are idea. <laughs> we're flying out on Friday the 13th. <laughs> And we're flying to Europe for 10 days. I wish you the best, and um, I hope you weather all of the storms that <laughs> invariably will come before you. I appreciate your time. Thank you Thank so much. You. Congratulations, Jillian and John McMaster in Halifax.